going on, everybody? It's your boy, John, the Game here. Welcome you back to another episode of The Saga Lock. Hope you all are having a wonderful day. You guys are amazing. And if you guys keep it up with the series, this is episode 64, which is kind of crazy because, you know, you 8 times 8 is 64, 8 squared, you know, 8 generations. This is going to be the key episode of everything. Totally, 100%. Um, no, not really. But anyway, this episode, we do have a decent team. I got everybody up to level 8 because that's 15% boosted and we needed uh, levels. I really love Curious. Curious is definitely 100% not my favorite Pokemon at all. 100%. Um, and then Rose Raid's Alana. So, Rose Raid's going to have another Vulpix scenario, which is going to be great. But, it's fine. Um, I definitely do think that Curious is a great Pokemon. So, I'm actually going to switch Curious into the front of the party. Get Curious those levels. Because um, Curious evolves at like level 32 or something. So, um... Joy, correct. Joy literally texted me this one day, and I'm like, why did I have to get this? Like, Joy literally is a, so Joy. If you guys don't know who Joy is, um, I talk about Joy like every day because she's just, just that amazing. She's so amazing. You talk about her every day, and it never gets old. So we love Joy. We stand Joy. We hope Joy's having a great day today, and like everyone else, you guys should have a great day as well. But yeah, our team, I love it so very much. It's just one of those like, oh, like. Of course, it might be because I'm playing my favorite game in the Pokemon franchise, but, you know, that's just something. Because, you know, we talked about, Jonas and I talked about this during my vlog, that, you know, you can still have your favorite game, but it could, it doesn't have to be objectively the best game. Like, the best game doesn't have to be your favorite game. Because, like, this game has a lot of flaws, let's be honest. Um, and the, oh, no, 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 no. Um, but there is, there is some flaws to this game, obviously, as, you know as such so one of the biggest flaws is the slowness and the animations and moves and everything else like that so that's why speed up is so helpful is because we don't have to worry about all that stuff uh wait spore affects grass types in this game it could have been spear and cacti in the first place Oh, that's sad. I didn't know that. If I would have known that, I would have been like, okay, yep, we're getting rid of that. Oh, that sucks. That's so sad. Oh, my gosh. It's just going to put everything to sleep. I'm glad I switched out. But, yeah, that's so sad. I didn't know that. Because, again, if I would have known that, I would have just been like, okay, that's fine. But, no. Again, no knowledge. Also, that was Maple. I love Maple. I didn't get to see what, what was on this route, so I... Because I played it safe and wanted to train on the first route. Because I knew the first route had, like, a little bit... Like, way lower class Pokemon. So, I'm kind of glad I did. If it, it has a whole bunch of grass types that I can't train Curious on. So... Yeah, anyway. Curious is one of my favorite mods on the team. If not my favorite. Ronda... I love Ronda, too. Um, like, this entire team is just really good. Um... And, you know, we're developing connections with the team, and that's what you want to see. So, anyway, first trainer is going to be level 6, which is kind of scary. It's kind of sketch, but it's fine. So, today's episode, actually, there was a couple things I wanted to chat about and hang out about. And, you know, I actually had a topic conversation for this episode. So, we got a new AS ASM at work. I'm sorry, Joy. I got to talk about it. Okay. It's not going to be crazy because it's not the first week of the month. Thank God. Um, but, yeah, we got a new AS ASM, right? And this ASM... Um, we knew we were going to see the new ASM today, slash, uh, not today, um, today's Friday, last week on Sunday. So, of course, I'm recording this on a Monday. I'm trying to, I'm trying a new kind of recording schedule where, like, I try and record a good grip of stuff, and I want to try and record up to, the, like, some of the audience choices, um, before that. So, anyway, we got a new ASM, and I was joking around in my car, right, because, you know... I'm single, I'm ready to mingle, it's fine, like, I've gotten to that point where it's like, you know, I'm doing school, right, and I get that I'm doing school, school is more important than anything else at the moment, because school is gonna, you know, lift me to higher planes and allow me to do better and be a better person, so, school is number one, but I've really thought about, you know, relationships and trying to get into one and, like, figuring out things, well, so I was joking in my car about, like, oh my gosh, I'm, oh, I don't, I want to give up rage, so I was joking in my car about, like, how, you know, it's like, what if this ASM is, like, really cute? And, like, yada, 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 yada. And I was like, okay, well, you know, this is, I'm totally joking around. It's not going to be the case. Like, you know, there's no way. 
at all that, like, I'm gonna get eye candy at work because, you know, eye candy at work? What is that? Like, that... I haven't had eye candy at work since our LP guy left um, back in 2018, which was... <laughs> I think I was recording the Black Nuzlocke at that point, which is one of my favorite Nuzlocke's ever. Um, but... Probably because my morale and spirits were high because I had eye candy. But... <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's what would cause my morale spirits to be high. Whatever. Um, anyway, carrying on. So, I was, like, you know, kind of joking about it. And then I walked, like, literally. I was... I was struck the minute I walk, walked in that door. Because, holy crap. That was literally... So, y'all know my type, right? My type is obvious. I've talked about it a lot. Tall. Like, six foot plus. So, really not too tall i'm not that crazy um but like i don't like anything above six foot like it, i don't care if you're seven foot that's better that's better for me anyway um so because i'm six six right so i i don't want to really bend down too far to <laughs> make any physical contact so it was funny because i was like okay it's fine you know and of course i walk into work Cause I'm joking about this, cause yeah, six four. You gotta have that, you know. I want, I like a beard, you know, that that nice, you know, trim, that trim beard. I don't want like the full beard, but I like that trim beard that I just can't do because I start pulling out every freaking morsel of hair that is on my face. It's kind of dumb, and I hate it. I wish I didn't, cause you know, I could probably grow like kind of that undercoat of beard, but you know, that's besides the point. And then, um. You know, being, like, athletic or fit works, too. But it's, I'm not really that as concerned about that as I am about the other two. Um, but fit is nice. Like, and that's what I'm trying to attain. I'm trying to attain fit. And, like, it's you can see it, like, in the face and everything. Like, I'm getting better, which is nice. Uh, I don't even know what Pokemon came out. Um, so I'm going to play safe and go to Ronda. Um, so I like that fit stature, right? Like, I don't have the muscle here at all. You guys can't even see it. I don't know why I'm like, I don't have the muscle here. It's like, you can't see what I'm talking about, but that's fine. Yeah. Oh, it sucks. Right, we're good. Yeah, I don't have the muscle here, and I want that. That would be great. Um, hands, push-ups, and sit-ups, and all that stuff. But, yeah. When I walked into the store, and Chris opened the door, I was like, oh, damn. Because that was, ex like, it was literally my type in a nutshell and my dollar was like at medium which is awesome uh because i was like okay well i'm not gonna say do anything you're not gonna be like crazy because first impressions are a thing um and there's something that you want to make sure you know you do right um so yeah i I've, to this point to this day i haven't done anything about it uh for sure um like because again that's not my personality i'm not the person who's gonna make the first move which is kind of bad because you know if you want it, if you want something, you gotta make the first move to do it, and you have to have the motivation and drive to do it. But you know, that's just my problem. That's something I just don't do. I'm not a first move cop type dude. Um, just because I think it's be more so. Again, referencing episode 59, more self confidence is horrendous. Um, which I don't know why I did that. That like literally detracted from everything. But yeah, my self confidence is horrendous. Even if I have like a three point eight in college right now i'm like oh my god i'm not good enough nothing's good enough and i can't do better oh my god uh it's like john shut it's like i'm moving away from the mic jonas you better be proud i don't know if you heard that but <laughs> i'm like because i was gonna do that right in the mic where i whip my hands like this and i'm like no nope, that's gonna sound crap um so at least i'm being mic conscious um but anyways <laughs> like I just, having no confidence sucks sometimes because it's like, you want to have confidence. You want to be like, oh yeah, I'm good. I can do this, that, the other, but no, 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 no. My brain's like, oh my God, you're not good enough. Nothing's good enough. And oh yeah, yeah. Um, like, so even if somebody was making moves on me, I would still be like, I can't ask first because what if like, they're just being friendly and nice and like, don't want to be actual like people. And it's like, you freaking ask! And, like, you know, you got that serious ranger going on, like, yelling at you to just freaking ask, because if you just ask, everything will be okay. But, no. <laughs> My brain goes, no, you don't want to inconvenience them, because inconveniencing them is just gonna be so bad for them, and they're gonna not like it, and, like, you know, it's gonna make you disappointed, because you're disappointing them, and, ah! Uh, it's like, ugh! Like, 
It's so annoying. It's like, and literally, that's the, that's the two different voices that go into my head every like every decision I make. You've got the nice and pretty. Oh my god, you don't want to hurt them. You don't want to offend them and make them mad at you because you know you want them to still be a friend and you don't want them to see you differently. And then you got the just do it already kind of voice in your head, and it's like, okay, so. Yeah, I'm kind of having that internal conflict going on. That's why I need Chloe. Which is why I texted Chloe, but she didn't respond to me because she thinks she thinks that, that I'm talking about somebody that's similar to somebody who she didn't like. But it's fine. <laughs> I just am like, I need Chloe! Like, really badly. Like, I'm like, Chloe, I need to work with you. Like, I need to, like, figure it out because, yeah, it's important. Um, and I really hope that she works today so she can be like, oh my god, you're not wrong. Because then I'd feel validated, but you know, it's fine. Um, because, okay, so, further I got this point, I, like, immediately made the, uh, like, I actually was assertive, which is awesome, because I'm like, oh my god, okay. So, like, if I assertive, I mean, like, not too, oh, freaking A. I was not too assertive, right? Because there's a difference between being assertive and too assertive, because you could be like, you could literally just talk to people. I like, so that's what I did. I was like, okay, I have John, you know, yada, yada, yada. I basically modified 2.7 um, and kept it, like, completely work, work related for, like, but then, you know, I started, like, throughout the day, I started getting into actual questions and wanted to, like, get to know him in, like, a good, friendly, but, like, also, I think you're cute kind of way. God, this episode's weird. <laughs> this is how John hits on people. That's literally the episode. How John hits on people. It's 101. Literally. Um, <laughs> uh, but, yeah. So, like, I started asking more, like, throughout the day, more personal questions. Um, which is good, because, you know, it's like, oh, okay. So, they actually want to get to know me and know who I am. And actually care and that was reciprocated very well which is woo, good job john you did it um because i'm the only person he was talking to actually so uh, yas um and that is not just being self-centered at all because like i'm not a self-centered person because like he talked to other people right because you know it's his job to talk to everybody yada, yada, yada. but like i definitely was the number one person he was talking to the most because I made the effort to make the connection because it's like, oh, well, okay, you care about me, it's good. Uh, surprise, you know, you make it, you, you try and make an effort to talk to somebody and they'll more than likely make the effort to talk to you back, even if it's just a friendly banter because I don't mind friendly banters. Um, you know, friendly banters are totally fine because, you know, I, I, I don't know. I'm just one of those people. I just want to be around you. And even if it leads to nowhere, as long as I'm around you, it's fine. I did that with Chad for like a year and a half. So it's whatever. Like, <laughs> ah, back in those days. Ah, those days were interesting. Dude, that, those are the days Chloe couldn't stand me at all. I was like, oh my God, I gotta go talk to Chad. Oh my God, I have nothing to do. Time to talk to Chad. Like, I'm not gonna be that crazy because, you know, I'm like, I've learned from that experience, but this, this is something where, I, like, I definitely won't be able to record the first week of the month anymore, which is why I'm bulking! Um, although that won't, although I don't think bulking's gonna work very well because I think that the next audience choice is technically the first week of the month. Hold on, hold the phone. 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69... No. Okay, good. 70 is literally the 6th. Let's go! We planning! See, this is why we're bulking now, so that the first week of the month isn't cringe AF. Uh, <laughs> um, see, I'm being smart for once in my life. So, I like being smart. Being smart does good things. Um, <laughs> Joy, you don't have to deal with first week of the month, John. Yeah! That's awesome. Okay, all literally... Here's the thing. I'm going to speed up the clowns because all the answers are literally yes. <laughs> and it's kind of ridiculous. So, ding, ding. Oh, my God. Yeah, you're right. And then, 
Third Cloud is dead here. Yep. And then somebody gives you the old rod here, I believe, right? Or is it in the next town over that they give you the old rod? Because I swear that the old rod is somewhere. And I believe I remember get them giving it to you very early in this game. But who knows? I could be very wrong. And so I don't even want to chance the fact that I'm going to be very wrong. So, you know, we're just going to leave with Curious and have Curious be our front man. Frontline plus with Curious Cacni. Cacni. Cacti. Um, dude, I actually might have to make a Curious Cacni, like, intro. Like, that might have to happen. So, uh, Jonas is going to be triggered with me doing it, but I don't care. Jonas can be triggered all he wants with me intimidating or impersonating Curious. Yo uh, Wow, that was terrible, but whatever. I mean, it is curious, though, because it, cause it's different. Because if if it was critical, it would be more like the Jonas. Yoo-hoo, guys! It's critical. That, that's terrible. Anyway, it'd be more like the Jonas voice. But critical or curious is like that higher pitch, like, yo -ho! Like, kind of voice. I can, I, like, that's what I imagine curious having. Like, that kind of scratchier you know sammy's voice in joy's videos where it's like kind of that like mid-range awesome like good that that the tone is a it's a good tone anyway sorry i've been too busy focusing on dimensions of voice lately you know because in the same scenario i just described for like 16 minutes but um <laughs> i can't believe it. i can't believe i went on a 16 minute conversation about how hot a dude is at work Bruh, that's insane. That that in, that in and of itself is wild that I went into that long of a conversation on that. Um, but carrying forth, um, I can see like I see Crit or curious having that scratchy like yo -ho! kind of voice, but like not my voice just can't hit that octave. Um, so it would be very cringy for me to do an intro like that, but. You know, sometimes cringy intros are some good intros. <laughs> some of the best intros can be cringy intros, but... Gymnast Stacy sends out a duck trio. Oh, dang. So the one time Cacnea would have been actually freaking god tier is the one time I switched Cacnea out, because of course it is. Spite? No. No, Rhonda, not allowed. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Who gets the TM... Maybe it's the teacher? Wait, what? Oh, from him. Literally, just like that dude behind me. Okay, this TM. First TM of Sinnoh. Hopefully it's good. But yeah, like, sometimes, like, your brain just goes on a tangent. Just does not end the tangent. Beakers is really good at doing that. I let's... Oh, what's, like, literally worse than Spork? And we have two Spore users. Um, no. So yeah, Beers is somebody who I like. I like watching his content because sometimes he can go on these tangents that are like, oh, okay, this is an interesting tangent. But like, the thing is, is uh, Jonas, so like, there's a, like, four creators that I watch on the, day, basically the daily. Whether I comment or not, y'all, um... I wanted to make that apparent because sometimes I don't comment on these videos because I'm not a big... I like all of them. I hit the like button on all of them. That I do. That I will 100% vouch for. I do hit the like button on all the videos that I watch um, from these four creators because they're so ingrained in my head just to hit the like button for these four people because these four people are amazing. But anyways, number one is Beagers. Um, like his son... Randomizer, Ultra Sun Randomizer Nuzlocke, which is kind of crazy that it's already, like, on the tail end, is insane. Uh, oh, yeah, you get the old one from this dude. That's right. Um, I was like, I know you get the old one from somebody here. But. Yeah, so that's the thing. And then. Uh, I like how it. I like Beers' energy and how he kind of does his content like that where he has the energy and you know you just know he's gonna have a fun time and you're just gonna have a fun time in his content that's why i want my content to feel the same or not the same but like similar in that regard 
because I want you to be like, oh, okay, I just had a great time with this video, and, you know, I hope, and I just, I just hope that everybody enjoys it, um, and then the other people, I love Joy's content, because Joy's, like, a mid, what I mean by a mid-range creator is not, like, oh, well, she's, like, mid-level tier, blah, 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 I've talked about tiers on YouTube and how stupid it is, um, what I mean is that she's got kind of that similar commentary style to myself, where she'll have a topic of conversation she wants to talk about, and then that topic of conversation sometimes will get overrided by the game. Like in this instance, OMG, that's a Voltress. Oh god, it's level 8. I don't think that anything should be able to... Oh gosh, okay, this might... I This might be the first Pokemon I run from. I mean, I'm going to try Maze and see what Maze does, but yeah, this might be the first Pokemon I run from. Uh, but yeah, so like Joy's that mid-range creator that's similar to me and does have a similar commentary style to me, and I like that. And then you got Jonas, who is like an amazing content creator in terms of like what he does to go! <gasps> what the? We all, 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 uh, uh. What? N already? Already? Oh no. Please don't tell me this is how Sinnoh is gonna go. I can't have Sinnoh go like this. No freaking way. But yeah, no, Jonas is very like... I was gonna say toned, but that's... I mean, that's not the word I'm looking for. Um... Like, I mean, I guess in a sense, kind of is the word I'm looking for. He's got his own kind of way of content, and it's very, like, he's not really, it, the, he doesn't talk about the game. Like, if you're there for the game, that's not, you're you're not there for the right reasons in Jonas's channel. Like, you have, like, being there for Jonas is what, realistically, is what the channel, I feel like, does. Is like, you're there for Jonas's content before Jonas, and that does create a little bit of a, like, like, he's the star of his own show. But the problem is, is that YouTube is dumb. Um, I cannot believe we just lost a freaking Pokemon. Continue. Yes. I can't believe we lost Maze already. Like, already having a death. Uh, but yeah, if you're there for the game, he's not gonna talk about the game very much. So he's not, he definitely does not do walkthroughs at all. He's more like, okay, this is like an interesting thing to talk about. And, you know, he's good at that. And, you know, he creates a story. I feel like if Jonas had an animation channel, oh my gosh, it would take off. Because he's good at storytelling. Storytelling is something he's really good at doing. But he's just got to find the platform to storytell. Um, but, you know, YouTube is not a great platform for that. But, you know, well he's figuring it out and that's the thing that i like to see is like a creator like jonas who's hanging out doing some good things and like helping out and just doing something different he's not conforming to the mold of normal pokemon people which is just so nice because it's like okay good like we got some variants which is nice but a lot of people don't respond to the variants and it's kind of annoying um for sure dude i'm so mad about the ma that may dying like, of course Maze had to die immediately. But, oh, that sucks. I loved Maze, too. This is not a poison and flying type, guys. Like, no, it, it's just not. You know, people say it is, but, like, they're wrong. Dude, this is another Pokemon that could actually kill. Like, a lot of our encounters are murderous empires here. Sorry, I had to stop for a second. And then the other one's Ryan. Ryan's just, like, energetic as all could be. But, like, very lovely to listen to. Um, you just gotta make sure you have your video and audio turned down a little bit. Um, gosh, this is so bad. Okay. I don't even know what to do here. Because, I mean, this, this complements the team a lot. So I'm definitely gonna try my darndest to catch this thing. 
because of how well it complements. But I don't know if we're going to be able to get it. It's, it's the, again, the rare encounter that's a pretty high level. Never mind, we got it. Oh, I should shut up. <laughs> Dude, this game does not give you... Okay, so I'm going to save that encounter up top for later, I think. Because I don't think I'm going to have enough Pokeballs. To... Oh my god, are we getting another death? No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Dude, it's Sinnoh's hitting harder than freaking Hoenn. Like, why, Sinnoh? Why, Sinnoh? I love you. Oh, Jesus, uh, Louisa. Like, I can't hit this thing with anything either. Dude, Sino. Calm, Sino. I think I've got Yaw, and I'm going to use it. It's going to hurt. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Chatter. Asleep. Please, I need this to catch. And this is the end of the episode, so I need this to catch. Please, 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 thank you. Okay, so what sucks here is I don't have any money, and I've only got three Pokeballs. But we got a Crobat, and I'm naming it Davis. I think is it a male? Yeah, I'm, I'm naming it Davis. Actually, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. This is Tehran. This is a Tehran type Pokemon. This is a Pokemon that needs to be named Tehran, honestly. Like, I can't even lie. This, this is a Tehran type. Like, the quirky Pokemon that don't look like they would do a single thing that just does everything. Oh my god. I can't even run. Run, Tauros, run. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, so this is how we're ending the episode. Uh, I'm double checking to see what um, what ability Tehran has. It's got Chatter, which is nice. We got, oh yeah, we knew it had Drizzle. What am I talking about? But yeah, Brave Bird, Air Cutter, Chatter, and uh, yeah, so that's how we're going to end this. Anyway, hopefully you guys have a wonderful day. Love y'all so very much. Keep up the amazing work you guys do every single day. These episodes have been a little longer than normal, so I'm hoping that everything's okay with you guys. Uh, but we're catching up to Jonas. Not really, because this is only... This is episode, what, four of Diamond now? So, yeah. Anyway, love y'all. Bye. Or no, is, the next episode is going to be four of Diamond. Because choose my starter, I can't, I'm counting that. But anyway, love y'all. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Bye.